subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. With the transition to Apple Silicon, developers are eager to ensure their deep learning frameworks are optimized for the new architecture. PyTorch, a popular open source machine learning library, has made strides in supporting Apple Silicon. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the process of setting up PyTorch on Apple Silicon and provide a simple code example to get you started. Before we begin, make sure you have the following prerequisites installed. Xcode command line tools, install it using the following command in the terminal. Homebrew, if you don't have Homebrew installed, install it using. We'll use Homebrew to install PyTorch with Apple Silicon support. Open a terminal and run the following commands. It's a good practice to use virtual environments to manage your project. Uh, chat GPT. Apple Silicon, introduced with the M1 chip, has brought significant advancements in performance and energy efficiency. If you are a PyTorch user and have recently transitioned to a Mac with Apple Silicon, you may be interested in optimizing your PyTorch workflows for this architecture. This tutorial will guide you through the process of setting up PyTorch on Apple Silicon and provide code examples to demonstrate its usage. We'll use Homebrew to install the necessary dependencies. Now, we'll install PyTorch using a pre-built will for Apple Silicon. Let's verify that PyTorch is installed correctly. Let's create a simple neural network using PyTorch to test its functionality on Apple Silicon. Now, let's train the simple neural network on some dummy data. Congratulations! You have successfully set up PyTorch on Apple Silicon and implemented a simple neural network using PyTorch. This tutorial provides a foundation for more complex deep learning tasks on Apple Silicon based Macs. Explore PyTorch's documentation and continue building and experimenting with your machine learning models. ChatGPT